Greetings, humans. I'm glad you exist. Louis T here with another digital art video. This is a, a digital drawing uh, similar to the last one in format, but instead of drawing a stick human in danger of not existing, I thought I would draw something a little lighter of heart and heavier of art. I had to do a quite a bit of time lapse and editing to get this video to fit within the 10 minute mark that I aim for. So I hope you don't mind, but it's already done. Basically I just skipped the uh, planning stages and I also uh, skipped any parts where I erased something that I had spent a lot of time drawing um, already so um, that way you don't watch the whole time that I'm doing something that doesn't end up in the final version and also I made the rest of the video at uh, four times speed which isn't too bad so you can still see what I'm doing it's just uh, a little bit faster so the title of this drawing is Liquid Soap Horror. Have you ever had this happen to you? Someone switches the soap in the liquid soap dispenser. Um, they put in some that is a little more liquidy or maybe they just added water to transform a nearly empty dispenser to a full one. Yay! Magic! More soap! But anyway, an unsuspecting human approaches you. You cup your hand carefully beneath the spout of the dispenser and with your strongest arm, hammer down on the pump, expecting the normal amount of soap to squeeze out and plop into your waiting palm. But instead, an unviscous jet of barely soap evades your hand and sprays you directly in the pants. The horror. You know there's nothing you can do to make the wet spot smaller. Not without changing your pants anyway. And this is usually what happens in a public restroom, so uh, taking your pants off is a worse idea than trying to wipe the soap off. And of course you do try to wipe it off. And end up with a bigger wet spot than before. You try to hide with your shirt tail, which isn't quite long enough. Your only hope is that nobody notices. This isn't a nightmare you can wake up from. It's viscous reality. So uh, anyway, I cracked myself up. Well, I don't suppose you can tell that I spent a lot of time coming up with a storyline to go with my drawing. I already had an idea of you know what it was about but um, after doing the, the drawing, I said, well, I might as well make that part of the video too, just uh, telling the story. Because uh, without the story, you may not even really know what's going on here. It might look kind of weird. Well, I mean, it looks weird anyway. But... Uh, if I just lift it up to your imaginations, I'm, I'm sure you could come up with weirder scenarios. So, I ran out of stuff to talk about, as usual. Um, here's what I usually do with these videos. I, I just record the drawing, and then I uh, narrate later. So, I never know if what I had planned to say is going to take the same amount of time as the actual drawing did. And in this case it didn't. In fact it almost never does. Not to worry though, I'm sure I can fill the time somehow. Speaking of time, I spent more time on this drawing than than the previous one and as you can see it's in time lapse but I started uh, working on details and 
I ended up putting a lot more detail than I was really planning on from the beginning. Especially in the hands. I realized it was hard to get the hands just the right position and proportions and make them look even close to realistic. So I actually took photos of my own hands in the appropriate positions and used those photos as reference. And that's how I uh, got the hands the way they are. And after I did all that, the, the hands were really detailed, and then the rest of the everything was not so detailed. So I had to uh, redo some stuff and and add more detail here and there um, to help it match. And even even by the end of it, it's uh, not as not really as as detailed as the hands. There's no other part of it, which is kind of the point, but I, I still uh, think about fixing it and trying to correct all the little inconsistencies, so uh, maybe I'll do more on it later. So if I do do more on this piece, then uh, what do you think I should do? Should I do a full detailed digital painting? I've uh, thought about it and uh, maybe in the style of Norman Rockwell. Um, I don't really, I don't claim to be able to replicate that style but I mean I could give it a shot and uh, I do like a little challenge and if uh, if I thought that would be of interest to my humans out there, then I would definitely see what I could do. And of course, I would need to have more than just this one guy in the picture. There would need to be, like, you know, somebody in the background. And I don't even know. Um, based on my... Uh, little story that I told earlier then this would be a public restroom and of course there would have to be other people and uh, like come out of a stall somebody and they'd all have to be a little bit comical looking and I definitely need to work on this face it's a little bit comical but it's just not a, not quite not quite what I would want. I always want to improve it a little bit. But here's what I got so far. So let me know what you think in the comments and if you can uh, give me any ideas for my next video. So anyway, whatever you do, keep existing. Well, that's it for now, humans. Thank you for watching my video. If you enjoyed it, please subscribe. And also click thumbs up or share on your social networks as you see fit. And have a nice day. Thank you. Bye-bye.